also has a bit of a swagger. My friend James in the Mara. Good morning, everybody. No, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome to the Sunday Sunset Safari from the Masai Mara. My name is James Hendry. Fergus is on camera. Grubby hand that has been a dusty day. Dusty day it has. We're in amongst the wildebeest here. We are as live as Byron, of course. Uh, some might say more alive than Byron. And uh, hashtag Safari Live is how you get hold of us. Now, you may notice from the flapping of my hat, that there's quite a lot of wind at the moment and that's because over there there's a large storm and there it is and uh, I think it's moving up the escarpment so I think we'll be all right we are getting the odd spattering of rain but what we have around us of course is a huge number of wildebeest in the tree over there we've got some vultures and down in the valley where there is no signal there are some lions and those lions are not far from here and they seem to be heading up in this way we can't really go any further down from where we are now so what I will attempt to do is show you where they are from here. Well, that won't be hard because there are two vehicles there. But I'm going to pick up my binoculars and let's look down there together. And we'll see if we can't... I saw one of them get up and move towards this area here. And they keep making sort of gentle movements in this direction. Rita, you want to know how many wildebeest I think there are here approximately? I would hesitate to guess, but I'd say uh, four or five thousand, maybe. It's, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think it would be very interesting to put me into this area, get an answer out of me, and then do the same with Brent and the same with Scott and the same with Jamie and see th without us knowing what each other had said and then get some kind of an indication because I think you'll find that it would be very different for every one of us. I don't know. I would say about oh, a few thousand, yes. Now, that shot that you have there is what we call a slightly compressed shot in that the lioness is not quite as close to the wildebeest as she looks there. And we use that technique sometimes when we're on bushwalk and, and then you come to us and suddenly it looks like we're standing underneath an elephant. It's a sort of trick of the trade, if you like. And so, although I have almost no doubt that those lions who don't look very fat are thinking about hunting these wildebeest, I'm not sure, obviously, when they're going to do that. We've seen Brent in this area a few times with lions watching them on the hunt, and they have been startlingly impatient about it. Some might say uh, to the point of incompetence, sort of just running into the middle of them and seeing what they could find and seeing if they couldn't catch one that tripped over its own feet. And we've yet to see these chaps be successful. But we might be lucky here. I think it's definitely going to be worth us sitting here and waiting to find out if these lions aren't going to come up here and hunt one of these wildebeest. So in case you're wondering, I'm just going to tell you our plan out here in the Mara for the duration of the time that the wildebeest and Thompson's gazelles, of course, and zebra are here is going to be to try and find them and the predators that are hunting them and see if we can't, well, first of all, make some sort of prediction about what's going to happen and then watch the hunts, failed or otherwise. Most of them will inevitably be failures and, of course, many of us myself included, I don't mind the failed hunts, they're good fun to watch and it's always quite nice to end your day without death. But some of them will be inevitably successful. And so while the 